I'd like to give you 10 benefits of restating someone else's argument or position in your own words. Number one, it shows that you are listening. Number two, translating it into your own words requires a basic understanding of what they said. Number three, to quote my friend Bill McKeever, if it can't be translated, it probably doesn't mean anything. Attempting to translate it into your own words can identify meaning- meaninglessness. Number four, hearing their own position translated helps them understand their own position. I don't merely want you to understand my position. I want you to better understand your own position. Number five, it slows things down. You haven't shot back or merely reacted. This reduces tension. This makes for a sustainable conversational rhythm. Number six, your translation of their argument or position can strip it of its needless rhetorical flourish. Number seven, positions or arguments can sound ridiculous when they are clearly summarized. Simply restating someone else's position can remove the need to refute it. Number eight, it earns you credibility from which you can state your own position. Number nine, it can help you identify common ground upon which to build. And number 10, you might make a friend. Proverbs 18.2 reads, A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but, it, but only in expressing his opinion. You've made it this far. Would you like seven more reasons? Number 11, it dignifies and honors their words as meaningful. Number 12, it dignifies the very act of communication, of dialectic or dialogue. Some people are very cynical about the very activity of such interfaith dialogue. Number 13, it combats cynicism that all such communication can be reduced to sophistry or stimulus or grandstanding. Number 14, it honors another as a thinking soul, a royal, rational, reflective, introspective human being made in the image of God, not just one of Pavlov's dogs. Number 15, we would want others to do the same for us. This fulfills neighbor love. Jesus says, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Number 16, it provides an opportunity to overlook or redirect poor communication. This graciously seasons conversation with salt. And finally, number 17, it may provide another with a better way to restate their own position elsewhere. In this case, it is the gift of even clear articulation. This gives more grace.